Hello, healthy people, and welcome. I'm Karen, and this is Enduring Wellness and Pilates, the place to find inspiration in all areas of wellness and be empowered to create healthy habits. Happy Valentine's Day. So today, I'm going to talk about the habit of love, the knockout power of the habit of love. I'm going to share with you three ways that Muhammad Ali and his wife Lani personally demonstrated the knockout power of love through their actions and through just who they were as people. But first, let me give you a little bit of background. Growing up in a small town in southwestern Michigan, Muhammad Ali actually trained only about a 20 minute drive from my parents' house in a barn on his estate, and we all knew it. He was part of our community. So I always enjoyed watching him on TV, battle it out with the reporters, with Howard Cosell, and of course with the opponents in the boxing ring, and watched him time after time become the champion. Today I want to share with you three ways that Muhammad and Lani Ali demonstrated the power, the knockout power of love. The first area is love yourself. I think we all know that Muhammad loved himself. He demonstrated that so clearly to us through his rhymes, through his poems, and he was always talking about how much he believed in himself. He talked about what he was gonna do, and all of those things happened. He did become the greatest of all time. He still is the greatest of all time when it comes to boxing, but he believed in himself. He had high self-esteem, and the way that he delivered it was so much like Muhammad. He has such a great sense of humor. So he did it in such a way that it was like entertainment for us. And I always say that he was kind of like one of the first rappers. <laughs> and that's what he did. He rapped and he shared his poems and his lyrics with us. But really what he was sharing was his heart. He was letting us know that I am the greatest of all time. I am the king of the world. I am the champ. And that is exactly who he became and what he demonstrated to us. How powerful it is to believe in yourself and to love yourself. The second lesson that I learned from the Ali's was just the amazing power of unconditional love. And I have to tell you, I feel so privileged that I was welcomed into their world and I got to see the unconditional love between Muhammad and Lani and their son, Saadi. It was so strong that you could almost like <gasps> breathe it in, you know? And I, I don't know who said this, whether it was Oprah that I heard it on one of her shows, but where someone talked about, it's really not about all your accomplishments. It's really not about all the money that you made while you were here on this earth. But once you're gone, what people will really remember is how you made them feel. Sorry. Muhammad's gone now. And what I remember most, and when it warms my heart, when I think about him, whenever I think about him, is this unconditional love that was demonstrated the love of his family. The third lesson that I learned from Muhammad Ali and his wife, Lani, was a love for community. He was such a part of our community here. They both were. So whether you were at the local McDonald's down the street from his house or the movie theater or a local restaurant or he was at one of Saudi's baseball games, they were always so approachable. Muhammad loved people. And I have to share with you that as Muhammad's voice became more quiet, so did their giving. 
They gave so much to our local community. They were part of our community, but they gave back to our community. They gave to people in need, and they did so quietly. It wasn't broadcasted on the news or entertainment tonight. It was done quietly, and it was done with love. In my next video, I'm going to share with you what this statue back here is all about. The I Am The Greatest program. This is a program for kids to help build their self-esteem, to help teach them the legacy of Muhammad Ali and how to persevere. They get to learn about art. Each child gets a wooden figure that they get to paint that's this size and learn about art and community. And I will tell you about my dear friend, Anna Russo Sieber at ARS Gallery, who put this program together with the help of artist John Save and how much it is just empowering our local children to believe in themselves. And I will tell you, for Anna, I know it's all about the love for the children. You'll also learn about the artist John Save. If you've ever visited Benton Harbor St. Joseph or you live here, you'll see life-size images of this sculpture on rooftops, in storefronts, in the front yards of businesses, people who are supporting this program because it is a program just for love of the children, helping our children learn how to love themselves, believe in themselves. So make sure to check out that video on Monday. In the video that I posted on Muhammad's birthday, I shared with you that he taught me how to jab. So I'm gonna encourage each one of you to go out today and every day and knock out everyone you see with the power of love. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit like, share it with a friend, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when I'm uploading a new video. And until then, be the power of love. I'll see you next time.